Well, it's laundry day here at the uh, off-grid homestead. Got the laundry, dirty laundry in an old shopping bag. And um, heading back to the our little laundry house back there. And uh, just wanted to do a real quick video here. Talking about my former favorite video game. Back when I used to be a video game player. Back before Lord convicted me of that and uh, I gave it up. But uh, my favorite computer game was, uh, it was called Cossacks or Cossacks uh, European Wars. I think it came out in the year 2000, uh, just to tell you how far back that goes. Um, and uh, walking on the snowmobile trail right now, you can see down there, hopefully. And uh, sorry if it's crunching, I know some people seem to get irritated with crunching snow. Don't really understand that, but whatever. But this uh, game is an old one. And uh, you'd basically build armies, you build uh, cities, and then you have different types of mines, stone quarrying and, and you know, logging and all kinds of stuff, and you build up your armies. And uh, I used to play that game just so many hours, and there was times I'd, I played the one time, I think it was still 5 or 6 o'clock in the morning or something all night long. Insane. And I would listen to audios of preaching and things, and so I'd be hearing, you know, sermons and preaching while playing this video game and i remember uh sometimes i'd play against the computer and it was you know the hardest level uh the, the very highest difficulty level and and they would really you know come against me with formidable forces and you could control thousands of different soldiers and and everything else in that game and uh but i developed a technique a technique that worked every single time to beat that game, to beat the enemy, um, worked very well. And that is, I would go and I would destroy a wall that gets into their city. And then I would send in my troops and I would destroy their farms. Or I would use the little ballistas that would shoot the little mortars and things that would shoot the cannons. And I'd destroy their farms. And I would destroy their market. And I would go out into the ocean if, there was a, if I was playing and there was ocean. And I would destroy their fishing. In other words, I would cut off their food. And then what I would do is I would um, make a few hundred little civilians. Or maybe a, we'll say 1,000 civilians or something like this. And then I would take those little guys and I would send them through that breach in the wall. And they would go in there and the soldiers would run over and they would capture all those civilians and make them work for that city and i just keep on doing that uh, it's not a military threat coming against them because if their you know forces were so superior to mine i would just keep on sending little guys in there just send them in and send them in and send them in and all of a sudden you would start to see their numbers dwindling very quickly and you'd look at their little guys and they'd be going ugh, 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 you know dropping over dead because it would create a famine hmm and i wouldn't have to fight the army on that uh, of that superior nation all I would have to do is just keep sending my little people in there because their farms are destroyed and they would have a famine hmm um, now that's not going on today don't get conspiratorial here uh, with what's going on with the immigration thing uh, that's not happening um, yeah I mean there were some food processing factories that were destroyed you know over the last couple of years and and um, there's been some, you know, turkey fowl and things like that that have gone away, but uh, it's not the same thing. It's not a military tactic, all the stuff coming in. Uh, I think actually it is. But um, just wanted to put that out there. Uh, very interesting um, how we're seeing this thing of military tactic being used against America. And uh, just got to thinking about that the other day. But uh, as a Christian, Yes, we have no continuing city. Yes, we have no, you know, we're not going to be, um, you know, uh, America. You know, we're going to preserve America into the millennial kingdom or something. That's true. But, you know, God does want nations. God does want divisions. And he doesn't want immigration coming in, illegal aliens coming in and living in a country and just living off the people that are actually paying taxes. See, that's the biggest sin about this whole immigration thing. They're not coming here to work. Okay, some might, but most of them are coming here for welfare, to be paid to do nothing. And universal basic income and um, 
all that stuff like that, welfare and whatever else. The Bible says if any would not work, neither should he eat. And these people are coming in, they're not working, therefore they shouldn't eat. And uh, quite frankly, the civil war that's going to happen in this nation eventually is going to wipe out a lot of those people. So if you're an illegal alien, I'd suggest you get out of here. Go back to your country. Okay? Um, I say that uh, out of love, actually, because I'm trying to preserve your life. You need to leave. And, um, and you, can, you can't say, well, you were, you know, your ancestors were illegal at some point in time, too. No, they weren't. Uh, my ancestors came here uh, 1720 and um, they came with the blessing of the law at the time and uh, came over here and helped to build this country we say well they built it with black slaves no they didn't they were up north <laughs> no they didn't <laughs> we didn't have black slaves up north and my ancestors were pacifist um, Mennonite mostly Anabaptists and things so uh, you need to learn your history before you come out with your racist prejudiced nonsense some of the people that come out with this stuff all right, so just a quick little rant video, and um, I'm going to put some videos here at the end for you to watch, and uh, so you can learn more about the Bible, learn more about the truth. Thank you for watching.